Would you like some tea? <laughs> Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do your October general messages. So um, I've already laid out your cards and um, looks like uh, we're going to be hit with the Tower of Destruction this month. Okay, the reason why I say that is because we literally have the Tower of Destruction. We are using the Trick or Tarot, uh, tarot card. So with that being said, this is the Tarot of, or the Tarot, the Tower of Destruction. So something's going to happen that's really going to shake your foundation. It's, you're either going to have something happen with your finances where if you have been spending a lot of money or you just been you know not investing wisely something comes in where it just hits you out of nowhere and you're just like holy shit where the fuck did that come from you know and it's just like everything just falls down your family life your home life all the finances and everything just start to everything starts to flip upside down or maybe you feel like you don't have enough money to have certain things but that's going to change because you see what's going on like what's being spent on where uh, if that's important you start to get your finances back in into shape but the reason why I say that is because we have the um, the ace of Pentacles okay the ace of Pentacles is really starting over financially this is like someone giving you a helping hand or maybe you have to take on a loan to recover for shit that was just like going crazy and nuts, right? That did cause you to get into some, you know, a little depression or like this heartache that was going on within you. It really hits you because you have, if you have a family or you have kids, maybe with the page of pumpkins here, um, maybe, uh, you know you have them to support right maybe they need to go away on um, a camp something for school maybe you need to pay for their school for college or whatever and it just hurts your heart or hurts you because this has to happen at like the worst time for you and so we also have the five of ghost which is the five of cups okay this is you feeling like not too sure about how things are going to go. This is like you literally looking down, feeling a little, you know, discontent, feeling like everything around you is falling apart and that's what's causing you to fall into a state of depression from time to time. So, and you're wondering why does this have to happen to me now? You know, everything was going great. I'm trying to manifest great things into my life. My When is my ships coming in? Spirit keeps telling you, from time to time okay things are being manifested but yet you're just like kind of waiting for it and when that happens it it gets delayed so don't do that really focus on uh your finances focus on moving forward and everything will start to pick up again so i feel like with the um we have the three of pentacles okay so this is kind of like getting your family your finances Everyone around you, your coworkers, whoever, even if you have a business, it's kind of like working together to make this work, right? Okay, let's not spend too much on this. That's not important. We need to save. We need to we need to really start investing in the better things and not the stupid things that don't matter that really causes shit to hit the fan. Or if we really want to have enough to send our kids to college or enough to pay for their books or whatever or to keep the company or the business going we have to really ground ourselves and i feel like you guys are doing that it's kind of like having a business meeting or a family meeting with three of pumpkins uh which is the three of pentacles and that is what's going to get you guys you know back on your feet it's like starting all over again and while i see that say that uh we have the full card here Okay, this is, you know, taking the leap of faith, starting over, going on adventures, trying to something new. What wasn't working out before probably needed a little tweak. So I feel like with the full card, that is literally you guys taking on um, a whole new different path. It's kind of like juggling different things. Okay, but to make it work, it's for the best. 
And with the Knight of Pumpkins here, okay, this is the Knight of Pentacles. Um, this is somebody being the breadwinner. This is a go-getter. Uh, it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, maybe an Aries. Um, I do see a lot of Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I do see Aries, Leo, Sash, but mostly Aries. And not too much of the water signs. But don't pay attention to the signs. These are just the ones that pop out to me. So with the King of Pumpkins, this is like you going out there, getting it. You know, daily grind, working hard to make uh, make up for all your finances. Uh, just like really, really working hard. This could also signify somebody coming in to help you make this happen. Especially, like I said, with the Three of Pentacles. This is like teamwork and collaboration. Okay, maybe you have to travel with the Six of Bats, which is the Six of Swords. Maybe you have to travel for work. Okay, this is with the Knight of Pumpkins and the Six of Bats. It could mean that you have to leave home. Or travel to to make it happen or to work or whatever it is that you need to do but I feel like you're just gonna do it you're gonna get it done and um, so while you guys are doing that okay you're finally going to be getting a sense of relief towards the end of the month so the reason why I say that is because we have the world card okay this is something coming to a completion coming to an end this is like a completed cycle, a completed, um, you completed your goal, right? Now you're able to relax. You're able to say, ha, ah. you're able to just chillax a little bit because now we, you know, all that hard work and collaboration, we have the Knight of Pentacles here, okay? This is like really basking in the glory of your, your labor, your fruits and all that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Feeling good. Finally, again, you're like, uh, finally, I'm um, appreciating everything a lot more now because it gets you to see certain things that you weren't seeing before. So your home life, everything starts to be a lot more balanced. And the reason why I say that is because we have the Four of Wands. This is the Happily Ever After car. This is the 1111. Happy home life. Happy life. Happy wife. Happy husband, happy everything else, right? <laughs> House is good, family's good, you're good, finance is good, love is good, all is great. Okay, and then we hit the Ten of Pentacles. You see? Everything is recovered, everything is worked out for the best. So I'm telling you, this didn't, this tower brought destruction only because it had to reconstruct something. Okay, so you are going to reach the Ten of Pentacles. This is your abundance. This is getting everything that you worked really hard for and really, truly appreciating it this time, like for real. <laughs> All right, so the two um, Oracle cards that we pulled, okay? This is the Owl and the Jack-O-Lantern. The Jack-O-Lantern is protection. The Owl is the wise seeing, wise action. And like I said, with the owl, the wise seeing, wise action, you were looking at everything that, like I said, all the finances, everything that was going not so good in your life, okay, you're, you're seeing and you're understanding why certain things happen and then you take action. Especially with the Knight of Pumpkins, this is you going out there and taking action, right? And starting over, knowing that you're having an understanding that you have to try something new and starting over and you can you can rebuild and reconstruct anything, heal anything. So you see that, you take action, and that's and that's amazing. This is you doing the damn thing. And then with the jack-o'-lantern, this is protection. This is you uh, protecting your, your home, protecting everything you worked really hard for, your finances, your home. Um, your stability, your comfort, your love. This is protection right here. So Spirit is advising you that now that you see everything that has happened, it's time for you to really uh, pay more attention and, and protect all that now. Okay? So there you go. This was your message, uh, Aquarius. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in your next video. Bye.